September 25th, it's a Thursday, just, just go on, save yourself, leave me behind, I'll be alright, tell my kids I love them. So I weighed in today at 176.4 pounds, which means I'm the lightest I've been since high school, and I'm lighter than you. <gasps> I didn't even know it was possible. So today I'm going to talk about audio editing. The solution is using some kind of EQ device to try and locate and remove the noise. The first device is what's called a parametric EQ. This will bring up a window that shows you the frequency response of your waveform. To find the hum, you'll take one of the bands and boost it. Adjusting the Q setting will allow you to increase or decrease the bandwidth that you are going to affect with this boost or cut. In this case, we want to boost and use a very high Q setting, which will give us a very narrow bandwidth. And we'll sweep through the frequency spectrum until we hear the nasty noise we want to remove being boosted. Then reduce the gain and turn it into a cut. Your second option is if you have something called a notch or a peak filter. The parameters are the same as on a parametric EQ, so you can sweep for the offending noise and then cut it using the same process. The other thing you may have is a high or low pass filter or a high or low cut filter. With these filters, you choose one frequency that will serve as your threshold, and all of the frequencies above or below will be attenuated accordingly. If you recorded some video on a windy day outside, you might have a lot of bass rumble in your audio. So use either a low cut or a high pass filter to cut the low frequencies. Uh, so this week has been an epic failure on my part for um, providing you with audio editing tips. Um, what I will say is the other issue that I notice on YouTube videos is inconsistent audio, like there'll be one part where someone's talking and they're really quiet, and then I'm like, oh, I can't hear what they're saying, and so I turn it up, and then their intro comes in, and it's got music, and it's super loud, and my eardrums are popping out of my head, and so it's, um, so what I'm saying is try to be more consistent with the level of the, the volume in, uh, throughout the entire video. To do that, you just look at your audio meter and um, adjust the level of each clip so that the audio sits around negative 12 decibels and that'll give you a little bit of headroom in case you wanna accentuate the sound in one part and you're like, I want this to be really loud at this part because it's super intense and you can turn it up and do whatever. I apologize if you hate this video. <laughs> I'll try to do better next week. Speaking of next week, the topic, um, I just picked it because I felt like this topic was um, very time sensitive and so I wanted to get that in there, um, especially considering the events that are happening right now. And so next week's topic is going to be the presidential race. Okay, here's something that I kind of want to know is, um, what's your favorite genre of music? I'm just kind of interested to see um, what kind of what kind of peeps we got out there. Not good.